Hey fellow tennis nerds and welcome to the Blade 104 version 7 racket review. This review was made by Henrik Wallenstein, a good friend of mine, a fellow tennis nerd. He has been reviewing rackets for a long time for the Swedish tennis magazine as well as tennis nerd and this is what he had to say about the Wilson Blade 104 version 7. The previous version of the Blade 104 had an 18-19 string pattern, flex of 66 RA, balance unstrung 32.5 cm and a swing weight of 318. I never had the chance to test this frame so I can't really comment on how it felt or played at all. The new frame has the same 104 square inch hitting surface with a somewhat rounder shape that I personally love very much. Same 22 mm beam but now a 16-19 pattern that is progressive which means it has a tighter string spacing in the middle and more open towards the outer parts of the frame. Swing weight is a fraction higher at 3 to 1 compared to the old version and it has a 32 cm balance. The biggest change of this frame is in the flex. For this type of oversized frame, this version has a low 60 RA flex and that's a bold move by Wilson. The low flex would normally be a bit too soft in my opinion for a frame such as the 104 V7, but Wilson's feel flex helps to add stability to the frame that bends and flexes in a somewhat different way than a, how a normal 60 RA oversized frame would. This frame also has power holes that is being said to reduce vibrations and transfer more power to the ball, but I don't understand how the larger cutout can do this. How does it play? Well, I liked the 100L blade albeit in a modified version with lead and silicone and I was very interested in seeing how this 27.5 inch version soft flex frame performed. I strung it up with headhawk touch that I use for most of my test at 50 pounds and started to play. The first thing you notice is the flex. This thing is really flexy with the extended length and large hitting surface the flex is almost in the noodle category. The sound at impact is also very nice and it feels like a large bang when you strike the ball. The 290 grams unstrung weight for more serious hitting might be a tad too light so I decided to customize it. So after the first play test I added about 5 grams of lead tape at 3 and 9 and 5 grams at 12. I also injected 5 grams of silicone into the handle. A 1619 pattern in a 104 square inch frame gives a good amount of spin on the ball. You also have more than enough power but the only drawback is a slight lack of control if you already hit a big ball and string this frame with a low tension. To give a rough idea of how the Blade 104 feels like you can think of a Wilson Clash with a more controlled feel. Definitely has a more predictable response from the string bed. The Blade 104 is a good volley stick but this is the only part where I would wish it was a bit firmer in the flex. I don't get that precise crisp response from the frame on volleys as I would like but hey I only come to the net to shake hands after the match so no worries at all for me personally. Serves come fairly easy with this stick since it's a long body you have to generate some extra racket head speed to get the longer frame into motion and that can take some getting used to. The frame is surprisingly stable already in stock form but with my customizations this frame turned into a beast for me. A really solid feel, great power, spin, like some of the best spin frames and some extra to top it off. I will give this frame some extra time from now on and if it feels like it does for after a while, so it's not just a honeymoon phase, I will definitely invest in some more of the same. This does everything the Blade 100L does but in a more arm friendly, softer flex package. Thanks Hank for the review. I'm sure a lot of people are interested in this frame, especially since Serena endorses it. I'm not sure if she will keep doing that in the future though. She is trying a new blacked out frame. She was playing that in, during the Australian Open. Not sure what that is yet, but it does look like a mix of a Clash and a Blade 104. So maybe she's trying something new and that's we will see a new release from Wilson coming up here in a while. But this frame is interesting, especially if you like oversized frames. There are not many of those on the market. Same goes with uh, long body frames, so this has a quite a unique position in the marketplace, which is obviously interesting. There should be a lot of choice for players to, to find the racket that they play their best tennis with. Thanks for watching, have a nice day, and don't forget to play some tennis.